Director Rowe, uh, in, um, in your testimony here today, as well as in your written testimony, uh, you said very, very clearly that you can't defend why that building with, uh, could not, uh, with the shooter on top of it uh, was not better covered. You were very clear, you cannot defend that. So my question to you is, I, my understanding is that there's a detailed uh, site survey that is done prior to an event to identify potential threat points. So talk to me about that site survey. I'm sure you've had a chance to look at it now after action. And how did that site survey get approved when it was so clear that that was a major threat from that building. Thank you, Senator. So uh, our Pittsburgh field office did the advance. During that advance, not only were they discussing uh, amongst themselves about mitigating the line of sight, but also they were discussing with other agencies that were supporting it. Uh, our counter snipers met with their counterparts. Uh, the, the team lead and team lead uh, met. They walked the site. They identified the AGR building. Uh, and if I may, Senator, if I could point out something uh, right now, if I may, and we will place this for the record, uh, but this is uh, the point of view. This is from the second floor of the AGR building. This point of view is the point of view where the counter sniper team locally was posted. The gold arrow indicates where the shooter fired from. Looking left, why was the assailant not seen? When we were told that building was going to be covered, that there had been a face-to-face -face that afternoon, that our team leads met This was the view. Let me show you another view, Senator. B. This view is a reenactment by one of my agents laying flat. There was a five inch rise on the middle of that roof. The assailant would have had to present his bore over that to get his shot off. The view underneath reflects the perspective that he would have had. Again, I call your attention back to the first exhibit if they'd have looked left. Give me C. This is what our counter sniper team saw. Shooter, no elbows. You barely make out the crown of his head. Below it, the assailant up prone. And let me just tell you, our counter sniper, this individual, I know him. I consider him a friend. He has covered me operationally in conflict zones. And when I did my time on the president's detail, he exemplifies the courage, the skill, and the ability to respond under great stress in such short time to neutralize the threat and prevent further loss of life. Getting back to your question, Senator, these were discussions that were had between the Pittsburgh field office, the local counterparts, and everyone supporting that visit that day. And that's why when I laid in that position, I could not and I will not and I cannot understand why there was not better coverage or at least somebody looking at that roof line when that's where they were posted. 